Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here today with the Palkity X6. I've had this for two days. And it's like, it's an okay system, but let's get into like the box and stuff. So in the box, we've got the user's manual. We're not gonna do that, just like every time. We got some pretty crappy earbuds. Not gonna waste my time on those. And yeah. The box came pretty crumbled and everything. And that's about it for the box. You can just look at it, like take a couple looks. That's upside down. You can look at it right there. You can see every side, because I'm nice. Oh, you can see on the butt back. You can look at that. It shows stuff that it can do yeah also guys i have one thing that i want to oh also guys i have one thing i want to ask because uh i was just gonna ask this is the j6 uh everything like about it is nice but there's like one very big problem with mine i think i got an effective one all right if I go to settings, there's nothing. I can't change it to English. And the games, that's just like an obvious one because I probably need my SD card with the games loaded on there so it doesn't really have anything preloaded. Yeah, so I've never really got the chance to review this J6. But anyways, let's get right into the the X. Seven, not X six. I don't. I know I said X six. This is the X seven. Let me tell you, these sticks. <laughs> they're very bad. That's just what I'm gonna tell you right there. The D pad. It's very responsive, but it's bad. It actually has a movie, or it has the Lorax in here. Okay. I watched a little bit of it. it, has some movies, I got some of these games. Yeah, but let's just look at everything it can do. Local disc, it has 300 classic Invincible games, a version of Arcade. It got, like, Castlevania, which I love Castlevanias, but if I go to Castlevania 1, 1 for the NES, I'll just go to Castlevania NES. So I'm very familiar with it, and uh, it's, in, it's, in, it's in Chinese. But I haven't tried this out on this console yet. Surprising. Oh, what? I'm gonna get the. Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it actually plays really well. The, like, the last handheld Castlevania I had was on my Game Boy Advance, which did, doesn't have a backlight. So I never really got to play it on handheld. So yeah, that's about it for Castlevania. So NES seems to be working really good for that. Then it has uh, uh, Famicom, which is NES. For those who didn't know, there's Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced. Why does it have NES and Famicom? And then there's that. Also has Mega Drive. Let's check out some Game Boy Advanced games. See if I can find. Because uh, I know they have Mario 3 on here. And there's something I just really need to show you guys, but that's a huge problem with Mario 3. Actually, they got a Pokemon series, but like, <laughs> you can't really super marry. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, um, I had to switch this over to my SD card. 
Alright, this is like a huge problem with Super Melee 3. I'm gonna show you guys. Right now. Look, look, wait, actually. Okay, so maybe it just says Super Mario 3, not Super Mary. Super Mary seems to be going correctly. It's Mario 2 for the Game Boy Advance, which one of my favorite Marios. So let's see if it, of course. Luigi, cause like Luigi. I might just have to use a D-pad for. Him. Oh. My jump button is not work. Well, you know, it plays well. Yay. Oh, I think it's Y actually. I forgot. Well, yeah. Let's see if I can show you. Hold on, I'll show you what happens when I go to Mario 3. Alright, I found Mario 3 in the S. Even though it was on the Game Boy. So I'm gonna show you guys what happens. There's some music skips from time to time. I just keep forgetting that it's X. Now let's see. Yep. What? <laughs> I just turned into like a pot. And now I have. Now I have a tanuki. Which, yes, this is what's wrong. Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you are seeing this correctly. I am not taking any damage. Until I fall in the hole, but... Yeah, that's a major problem. You guys need to fix this. <laughs> yeah, I used like a turbo button there, so the jump and jump high. That's about it. I have uh, been playing a lot of Tetris on this, actually. Which plays very well. Yeah, and in case you guys want to see Mega Drive, I could find Sonic. I'm going to turn this down, actually. This is getting a little annoying. But. It would, like... You see that I'm Sonic Advanced on here. Actually, that would be on the Game Boy Advanced. Oh, Sonic series right here. Let's go to Sonic One, Game Boy Advanced. Which is Sonic Advanced One? Should be. Oh, let's go to English. Sega, as you guys can see there. Sonic Team. Oh, uh, yep. Sonic Advance. Game Start. Oh, uh, you already know I've got to go with Knuckles. And I thought I said the English. Oh, yeah, also, this does exactly what you think it does. This analog thick stick. Yes, it corresponds to the buttons. Which is very bad. Ball. 
But all that aside, it actually plays pretty well. There's one thing I don't like on the system, which is uh, Mario Kart uh, Super Circuit. And you can even save states by pressing the escape key. Save. And then if I have it saved, I can load there and then boom. See, look, if I go backwards and get hit, then I load it. And it works. So, yeah. I think that'll be my review for today, guys. Uh, just let me know um, how to handle my J6, please. Please. Oh, yeah, also the off button doesn't work sometimes. So, in case it's like that, you just have to press the reset and it just turns off. Yeah. But anyways, that's my thing for today. Just take that or whatever. And yeah, that was actually a bad idea. But yeah, let me go. You know what you guys want to see next? Uh, I'll give this console the benefit of the doubt. 7 out of 10. Not amazing, but pretty good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.